you're chipping better mm -hmm. and you're putting better, yes. you will drop shots drastically yeah. without doing much else. So I want you to set up to a pretty much straight up the hill putt, okay, from yep. here. Okay. Okay. And I don't want you to think of line at all. Fine. Okay. I only want you to think of pace. Okay. Okay. Sure. So just have set up to that putt as best you see fit, okay? And just think on pace. Okay? How do you see that ball dying into that hole? Right, let's try it from this angle now. So now we've got a downhill putt. Yep. Downhill, slippery putt. Don't think on line, just think on pace. Okay. How do you see how, how do you see that dying into the hole? So I'm thinking uh, as I'm looking at it, I'm thinking 4.30 on the clock space essentially. Okay. So not quite not center right basically. Yep. So right, this is absolutely critical, right? <laughs> Gonna be better if we tried. Right, so line comes from pace. Yeah. So earlier you said to me that you think your, your line's good, your pace is rubbish. Yes. Okay. Definitely. Because we're all to concentrate too much on the line, yeah. that makes us more rigid and we can't feel the part. Yeah. As soon as I gave you the cue to think about pace, the line presented itself to it. Yeah. So if I just go like this, okay, right, in and two from there, right. okay, because that is now out of range, it's yeah. over eight feet, you obviously want to make the putt, yeah. of course, but just concentrate on, purely on pace, okay, okay. So right. you don't have to think on line, the line will present itself to you once you get to think about, about the pace of it. Oh, that's a great putt. Go on. Oh, that's in two. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to spend hours and hours and hours practicing this. Okay. Now you have the experience because if we walked to that green over there, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not going to be the same speed as this. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow it's not going to be the same speed. So how can we practice pace control? Yeah. That's a great putt. Go on. Oh. But you see, right, how accurate you are when you're not thinking about it. Yeah. In the same way, so pick that ball up a second, yeah. okay, and throw it to me. You don't have to think about, yeah. once you get how the weight right, whatever, yeah. the accuracy will come from that. Yeah. We're pretty good at aiming. I can stand here with this ball here and there's a hole over there, and I don't have to think about it, I can just throw it over there, and that won't be a million miles away, yeah. okay? The, the line will come from that. So. We can use this exact same philosophy mm -hmm. with chipping. Okay. So 54 degree wedge chosen, up and down in two. Right, grab your par. Oof, it licked it. A bit too much. Okay, so you can play this game now and you don't have to spend a long time doing it. Mm. But this game here, so you get no points you get it down in two, yep. you get minus one mm -hmm. if you get it in, yep. okay, um, in, in a chip, yeah. and you get, if you pipe that in now, you get plus one, plus two, plus three, depending on how many times it goes in. Yeah. Forces you to get it. You could only spend two minutes doing this, yeah. but. And if, yeah, I, I can already tell it's gonna make a hell of a lot of difference. Yeah. Still 54? Uh, probably, a, probably a 60 instead, a bit more loft. Okay. But it is, the thing is though, is that more loft makes it trickier for someone that is a high handicap okay. like myself. So it would probably be either a 60 degree if I was feeling a bit adventurous, okay. a bit risky, yep. or probably something like an 8 iron and just push it, it forward. Yeah. Okay. Bottom. I'm going to make you prove this to yourself. So we've got the 60 and the 8. So we're going to go with the, the 60 first. Sure. Okay. 
how many out of three do you think you can get inside three feet from there? <laughs> None. Okay. Okay, so we've yes. got. <laughs> so we had two that went past the hole. Yep. And for a ball to go into the hole, it must at least make it to the hole. Correct. So you had two balls that had chances. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> that never had a chance, right? Yeah, well, I mean, it goes past the hole if it's in Paris. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so according to my logic, you're... I was worse. <laughs> Try that. Thank you, Kevin. Shipping, there are three shots, okay? High, medium, low, yeah. okay? High is your most lofted wedge, but my expectations when I'm playing those shots are through the floor, mm. okay? Now I'm only playing a high shot if... A bloody half thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I've got to get this over that bunker on that green and stopping. Yeah. On a downhill line. Yeah. I'm happy if I don't land in the bunker from here, yeah. I'm gonna break my camera. <laughs> now, that is a worldie. Yeah. Like I said, I would have been happy as long as I wasn't in this bunker. My only thought process was get it over the bunker. Yeah. Okay. Now, as long as I don't have anything to get up and over, then I'm going to go down the medium route. Mm -hmm. So the medium will usually take care of most things. Yep. So that's going to be your, your pitching wedge, your, your nine iron, something like that. Then there's the flat route. Now the flat route I would take if I was basically in that corner there mm -hmm. on the edge and I had this entire green to work with yeah. because I would be more comfortable with that shot yeah. than I would do with my putter. Sure. So the reason why I'm going through this now because this is a little bit like what you were saying about the flashy stuff in football. Yeah, well, I mean, this goes back to what I'm saying, that I don't yeah. know how to play golf, because they, the, both of the choices that I made myself yeah. would have been reasonable, but in the different situations than I thought it was. Yes. I don't yeah. think this is once again one of those things you really have to spend a long time practicing. You just need to gain the experience from it, yeah. because I know full well what to do in that situation back there, yeah. because I've been in it. Yeah. I'm actually thinking this is going to scoot forward and roll, I'm really seeing this not very much more than just pushing the ball forward, just literally landing on that front edge of that green. But it's, I've seen that, yeah. okay? Yeah. Obviously, your, your, your experience will go up. Yeah. yeah, now the thing is from that is that, because when you, like you said, when you see on TV, you're not seeing that shot. I mean, well, and even then, I'm not. I'm not seeing that shot from there. I'm seeing that shot there. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. It's not. So it's not. It's not even a practice thing. It's just understanding what it, what the right shot is to play.